Okay, this is how to make really nice sounding drums in GarageBand really quickly and really easy with some really cool little secret hints and tips you might not know about. First things first. Right, it's not GarageBand, but go straight to the internet and go to www.drumsondemand.com forward slash free hyphen drum hyphen loops.html. If you sign up for the mailing list, they give you 200 free drum loops that are really, really, really amazing quality, okay? That's the first part. Okay, then what you do, when you get your loops, you've got to save them into your library. So what you do, is they'll come on your uh, your desktop or whatever. You literally drag them into, yeah, I'll just find a few on find it so you can see yourself. Okay, so you go into library, then you go to audio, and then you go to Apple loops, and user loops, and literally just drag and drop them in, and they'll look something like that. Okay, that means your drum loops are all ready for GarageBand. So let's get rid of that. Back in the GarageBand, here we go. So, you click on your eye, and it gives you, I'm telling you, hundreds of drum loops. It's absolutely amazing, and they sound great. And they're all free as well. Okay, then what we've got, um, we just need to make a new drum track. So I'm gonna do this, show you how to do that. New track, real instrument. Okay, we want a boring track, so let's get something really, really rubbish, okay? So I have no effects, nothing like that. This will be our boring track. I'm gonna show you how to make drums sound amazing. Right, so we've got compressor, noise gate, standard. Now we need to add some things. So you click on there and go down to parametric equalizer. That's what we're looking for. AU, parametric equalizer. We want three of those. Okay, parametric equalizer again, and one more. Oh, there he is. And we need a high pass filter. So AU, high pass filter, high pass. That's the one there, just high pass. Right, this is what we're going to be using to change effects on drums and make them sound really, really tasty and amazing. So, in good old fashioned style, this, here's what I did earlier. This is, the, this is the type of project that I'll use on my own projects, okay? So, we've got a compressor and this is how it's set up. Double click on there and copy down these settings. Threshold, minus 12 decibels. Ratio, 5.0 to 1. And you want 20 milliseconds and you want your gain four decibels all right that's what you do that's your compressor sorted out and that makes the snare sound really nice as well then your first parametric equalizer it looks really odd like a mountain but this is what it's all about when you click on this little dot here you've got these weird numbers frequency 109 gain 10.65 and q2 q is the amount between that line and that line don't need to worry about what it does just basically get in the knack of just copy down these settings and it will sound beautiful right you can move that q by dragging this line see and just making it bigger or smaller bigger or smaller so we want a two at the moment right so you want a q of two you want 10.65 and 109 there you go copy those down if you move it up and down it moves all numbers for you all right so you've got your Q, and that's it's approximate, so as close as you can get to that, turn it on. That's one. Okay, the next one is the same sort of idea, but this one's got a Q of 1.43, gain 3.18, and frequency of 77. Yep, so you can move them up and down, whatever you want to do, but around there. Okay, turn it on. Okay, then we want another one. This is a high-pass filter. Now it's really easy, what we do is drag this little dot here and moves backwards and forwards, really easy. So we would like a frequency of 49 hertz and a resolution of minus 2.62 decibels. Okay, turn it on. And lastly, the last parametric equalizer. This is gonna make the snare sound great as well. If you put a frequency of 8474, gain 3.18 and Q of 1.43. Now you might be thinking, I've done all that. It sounds really random with all these weird numbers and stuff, but listen to the difference, okay? So I'm gonna show you before and after. Right, let's turn everything off first. And this is what the drum track's gonna sound like. This is plain and just as the drums come with no of the stuff that we've done on them. Let's turn it a bit. See what I'm saying? It's all right, it sounds quite dry, a little bit bland. Let's put all these lovely things that we've done on now. There we go. And now check this out. Prepare to be blown away. 
There you go, see? The sound is really fat and it just cuts through with the snare. It makes all the bass drum and the snare sound really different. It gives you a really professional sounding drums. So that with the free drums makes amazing garage band products. If you want to hear what they sound like, all you've got to do is go onto my channel and go on Sunny Day, click on that one, it's got a whole song using these lovely settings and it sounds amazing. Really, really tasty. And if you think that's just what it does to improve the drums, if you look at some of the settings for the other instruments, it makes the mix just sound amazing. And all you've got to do is move these little dots around. I'll show you the rest of the settings on my other videos. So have a little look and let me know what you think. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you want to.